Accused speeders showed up at Arlington Heights Mayor's Court just a short time ago. This is the first time drivers have been able to look for answers since 9 News anchor Brennan Keefe's I-Team investigation revealed more than $250,000 missing from speeding ticket fines. Brendan is live now in Arlington Heights with reaction news only on 9. Brendan? Carolyn Clyde, this tiny village has been getting a lot of attention since our story first broke with the I-Team investigation on Monday. And I-75 has been a big source of revenue for this village over the years, and if the prosecutor is to be believed, also for some of its former employees. But today, some drivers still had to pay their fines. Drivers accused of speeding appear in Arlington Heights Mayor's Court, the first such hearing since allegations of theft surfaced earlier this week. The crowd about half the size of a similar hearing two weeks ago. Inside, it was calm and orderly, but outside, defendants spoke their mind. That's $800 I have to pay. So if it's going into someone's pocket, then what? You feel you shouldn't have to pay? Yeah, I feel that I should Not if money's coming, coming up, up missing, now, Because who knows if they're going to pocket it again. These patrol cars are not out on I-75 running radar right now because Arlington Heights shut down its traffic enforcement program the very day after we aired our I-Team investigation, revealing more than a quarter of a million dollars missing from the mayor's court. Somebody else taking our money, so it don't make a difference. Do you think they ought to suspend the authority of this court to render fines when the fines have been shown to disappear in the past? I don't think it should have been no court if nothing, because uh, we'll make them think what money wouldn't come up missing again. Back now live, I-75 is still being patrolled tonight by the Ohio State Troopers, but Arlington Heights police officers are not among them. It's important to point out the two primary suspects identified by Prosecutor Joe Dieters, whom we're not naming or identifying at this time, were former employees, not current employees, though the prosecutor says he is looking to make sure that no one else was involved before taking it to the grand jury by the end of the month. Brendan Keefe, 9 News, Arlington Heights.